Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technologies World 2018. The inaugural Dell Technologies World event have two sets, side by side, three days of broadcast. I'm Stu Miniman, joined as my co-host for this segment by John Troyer. Happy to welcome back to the program, John Byrne, who since the last time we caught up with, has a new title, is now the North American Commercial Sales at Dell EMC. John, thanks for joining us. Pleasure, good to see you, John. Uh, John, it's you, thank you. All right, John, what are you doing here? Isn't it almost like the end of like <laughs> uh, financial sales, on the road, everything like that, uh, but, um, yeah, t tell us a little bit about kind of the, the change in role and what that mean, meant, meant for you. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of amazing. I was only here a year ago, and here I was talking about bringing together Dell EMC's brand new channel, and uh, we we're very proud that we were talking about then. It was a thirty-five billion dollar organization. Here we here we are, twelve months later, thirty-five billion to forty-three billion dollar channel organization, which is spectacular. Uh, and it's all thanks to our wonderful partner community and, and what they did. You know, they were the ones that helped us with our vision, our strategy, uh, the, the wonderful program that the team has developed, and we're seeing it, we're seeing it unfold. So that's been an incredible journey. Now, one of the good things is obviously when we're, when we're building this initiative, it was the power of and. We wanted both motions to continue to grow, direct and channel. And uh, you saw the results, both, both are growing. Uh, so obviously my new role, uh, um, I've been asked to run North America commercial sales uh, under Marius Haas by Michael and Marius. Yeah, and, and great, I'd like to dig into it a little bit. You know, I spoke to Marius on Monday, we actually in our kickoff this morning, talking about kind of EMC channel and sales and Dell channel and sales, a little bit different. I mean, mm -hmm. EMC you know, have, had a great channel, you know, has a great channel continuing, but very much you know, considered belly to belly as how they do that. You know, Dell has been a little bit more you know, partner and channel focused, uh, for, for you know for longer, so I'm wondering, you know, give us a little bit of insight. So you had the channel piece, you've had the sales piece. We hear things like, oh, there's over the, you know, turning a direct rep into now he's more of an overlay. Walk us through a little bit of those dynamics. What's happening uh, from, from the sales standpoint, the impact on the channel? Well, I think we, we've got to remember, what, like, the channel is, a, is an important wheel to everything we're doing here. Look at Dell Technologies, we have 40,000 sales makers. Within our channel ecosystem, we have 140,000 people. That is a sales army. They're going after the market with the portfolio that we have, with the capability that we have. Frankly, done properly is unstoppable. And actually educating how both routes to market, how we want to play with one another. Look, it's, it's the, it is the power of Ant. And especially as we go through these transformational journeys, and we're talking about digital and IT and workforce security, look, we need everyone to play here. The wonderful news is, you saw, and I'm sure you heard from Michael, rewind a year ago, we're a $73 billion organization. Within a year, we're an $80 billion organization. Phenomenal growth, however, the exciting thing for me, it's in a $3 trillion market. So 2.66%, that is so much upside for us, for all of us, that, look, done properly, we're going to win, is the general feeling. It's a pretty remarkable transformation. I mean, transformation has been a theme of the whole show here, right? Digital transformation, make it real. You've been both involved with both channels and, and Dell sales, Dell EMC sales. The role of, of, the, of the technology trusted advisor has changed over mm -hmm. the last few decades. How are you approaching both your, your field force and, and the channel and your partners there about, about this new role of how do, we, how do we make digital transformation real in the field? What kind of upskilling do you need to be doing and competencies do we need to be working on uh, for folks that are listening that might be you know, out in the field working directly with customers? Uh, hello. We, we've all been in the industry a fairly long time. You think rewind 10 years ago, you talk about technology, you talk about IT, it was viewed upon as a cost center. You fast forward to now, it's a business imperative. You know, when we're talking to our customers, they clearly, they want to get ahead of this transformational journey. However, we know that less than half of them have already begun the journey. Here's the good news. Those that have begun the journey, here's what we know. They're moving faster. Their customer satisfactions are up. They're driving incremental revenue. Their costs are going down. They're driving greater incremental operating income. And I think what you're seeing here, right, right here, right now, it is no longer just discussion around the transformational journeys. Making it real is here. You're seeing like aero farms. You're seeing McLaren on stage talking about bringing Formula One all the way through to medical. You're seeing TGen 
and a wonderful, wonderful company with the capability using technology to identify cancer earlier in children. I mean, that is what our purpose is all about. Now with that, of course, you have to evolve your, your own sales organization as well as your partner ecosystem. And we're treating our partners and their sales team as exactly one and the same. So the way the training and all the competencies that we expect of our own sales team is exactly what I'm expecting from our partner community. Uh, look, it's an, evo it's, it's, a, it's an evolution we're going through here. Our sales team, we're training them on these transformations, we're showing them our purpose, how we're going to, how we're going to do it. Uh, but the other thing, what's more exciting for myself, we're also targeting the next generation of sales leaders. Uh, you know, working with, with universities, we want these top graduates to come here, to, to enjoy this wonderful company and what we're, what we're doing here. So now we're investing in people, where I've actually set up sales universities here in the US. They can be a three month program, it can be a two year program, spending anywhere between up to, up to almost 400,000 on a graduate coming through so that they understand exactly like, the transformations are just natural in their DNA. That's what we're looking for right now. Yeah, I, I like that, I love that, and I, Stu, I love, I mean, we both have a history of, uh, with, with the Dell uh, Technologies organizations over the years, and I, I'm impressed by how many people I have met that are either long-term uh, employees or have, have left and come back, right? And that investment in the people uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a, gotta be critical for your growth, especially at this size. Yeah, I, I think, John, we've gone beyond the, hey, what do you do and how do you do it, yeah. right? And now it's like, what is your purpose? Our purpose is to impact human lives each and every single day. And I give you some examples, but look, our ability of using technology to connect more people around the world, our, our ability to actually we'll use technology for us to, to live longer, for us to identify, again, cancer earlier in people, that purpose is inspiring. And then when you then later on, we're spending four and a half billion dollars on R&D to bring world-class products and capabilities to the market done properly and with that true transformational mindset, as well as not forgetting there is a massive market on IT infrastructure and the consolidation and winning in that space. Look, I think we're, we as a collective community, along with our customers, we're trying to do wonderful things. All right, so I want you to bring us inside your customers. So you've got North American commercial sales, big market, probably one of the most dynamic changing markets you know, in, in the globe <laughs> uh, these days. What, what are some of the biggest challenges you're hearing uh, from your customers, you talk about digital transformation, make it real. You know, what, 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 what are your, what's your organization hearing? Well, so, well, actually you talk about North America commercial, so I, I didn't frame it, like, we're, uh, we're 19, 20 billion dollars of the, of the organization. Just, just, just a small piece. Just a small piece. <laughs> but of course, uh, within, within now, look, uh, we have state and local, we have education, we have federal government, we have the media and business space. Mm. Each of them all realize this digital transformation is here. And the conversation they're having with us is, how do, what, how do we get ahead of this, right? What experiences have you enjoyed yourself as an organization or with your partner ecosystem to make it real to them? So we're spending a lot of time with them in our, in our uh, executive briefing centers, with our solution architects, showing what, how do we enable the, the aero farms that we just spoke about. It's really making it real, that's the conversation we're having with them. Now there's the other spectrum of our customers, which is, look, we want to continue to sell an unbelievable amount of PCs, an unbelievable amount of servers, and storage, and hyperconverged, and backup. So we have the wide spectrum. The good news is the conversation normally goes to, let me tell you about Dell Technologies Advantage. Why did Michael spend 24 billion taking us private, 67 billion giving us all this wonderful array, array of, of, of assets? And as you walk them through these transformational journeys, the, the normal response is, oh my goodness, I did not know you did all of that. And then, okay, I'm not ready yet to go all the way there, but the comfort that you have it, okay, let's begin the discussion. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're finding with a lot of our customers right now. All right, one of the things that you look at, you mentioned so many of the verticals there, and the commonality amongst both of them is change. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about the training competencies, you know, your organization, uh, how do you keep up? How do you help your customers keep up? Yeah, look, uh, what is it, if you change or die? It's kind of it's the, the mantra right now. Uh, we, we are spending an unbelievable amount of time on training. But with training also quite a lot of consistency. It's interesting, we were here only two months ago for our field ready seminar, uh, our sales kickoff. The feedback from our sales team was, wow, this feels very similar to last year. The message is good. 
you've got to learn these transformational journeys. Gone are the days of just going in and selling a single unit of product. You have to become the trusted advisor. So with that, all of our training, all of our competencies are around understanding each of the transformations. How do you layer in Pivotal and Virtustream and VMware and RSA and SecureWorks and obviously Dell EMS. How do, you, how do you bring all of this together? And then also making it very clear to our sales team and our E's, this is my expectation of your role. This is what I expect you to do and here's a specialty that's the teams that are around there, around you, to make you successful. So we have this training, it goes on every, actually, it's consistent training, but two big ones per year. Uh, and with the, the good news is our partners, they got to do exactly the same thing. That's what we're saying. John, as, as you and your sales leaders go out and, and talk to IT, and uh, you know, you're not, uh, again, in the field, you're, you're, you're way beyond, oh, check the box to order a new round of laptops or a new round of servers, right, or server refresh. As you talk to the CIOs out there and the senior IT leaders, where are we in this transition? Are they, I mean, are they getting it? I guess it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a range of, of responses. It really is, like, some are already there. Yeah. But look, are we there? Absolutely not. <laughs> like, I think we're in single, but we're more or less single digit. But again, when, no, when, when those CIOs, when they see that, are you telling me, look, I can not only have a, a modern infrastructure, I can actually save money by getting to the modern infrastructure, and I can layer in insights into my business using your technology, be it big data, be it AI, uh, and I can yield more profitability at the end of it. You're finding them all in. But they're all in different, different, different levels, obviously, of, of uh, expectation. Are, are, there any, are there any characteristics of a, an organization that is either is going or is ready to go that you see? Um, I, I wouldn't say so. Here's what, here's, what, here's what I will say. Um, if you look across all of our all of our all of our transformations, VMware is always consistent. Um, I, I will tell you, security remains a big theme. The other thing we found is again, as we get through these transformational discussions, the starting point still tends to be client. You know, and the client still seems to be the gateway to the data center for us. Um, and I think you're also seeing like the one thing we're also seeing. They all, everyone's recognizing. The workforce, the workforce has changed forever. Gone are the days when we remember sitting at a desk from nine till five, where people are working remotely, people want to be productive, they want to always be on, and I think that's why you're seeing this resurgence in the PC market. Look, if you look now, we've got 21 quarters of consecutive share gain, number one in the world on units, on revenue, number one in profitability, number one on server, number one on storage, uh, obviously number one on, with VMware. Like, that's consistent is they want to be dealing with Dell technologies. All right, John, I want to give you the final word on, on key takeaways from the show, but I have to take away a couple things. Uh, yes, it does rain in Vegas, and uh, <laughs> you know, Pitbull, uh, you know, play, played at an event. So, uh, you know, other than those two things, uh, you know, what, what do you hope that people come away from from Dell Technologies World 2018? Look, I, I hope I hope people on a few things. One, I hope they understand our purpose. We are and we have a desire to impact human life each and every day by being the essential infrastructure. It is no longer buzzwords around these transformational journeys. It's here. You can feel it, you can see it, there's real proof points. I think it's also clear these two motions that are happening. Mass consolidation of IT infrastructure, we want our customers and our partners to lead with Dell Technologies, and as you go through this transformational journey, there is only one company who has all of the portfolio to satisfy all the needs, uh, and it's Dell Technologies with the support of our customers and our partners, and I'd be remiss if I don't always end by just saying, look, look thank you. None of this is possible without wonderful customers supporting us on this journey. So, that's what I'd like to remain. All right, John Byrne, really appreciate catching up with you. Uh, look forward to catching up with you in the future. Hope you, you keep this job a little more than a year this time. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, John, thank you as well, Steve, thank you. All right, for, uh, I'm, I'm Stu Miniman with John Troyer. We'll be back with lots more coverage. Thanks for watching theCUBE.